By the late 1920s, Ford had been producing the Model T for 18 years, with almost no changes to the technology or styling. While incredible for a single model, it meant that Ford was way behind his competitors. In that time, all the other car companies made dramatic leaps and bounds. Finally, in 1927, Ford retired the Model T in favor of the Model A. And then what? Nothing. Model T was history. What about your coffee? Rob, when it comes to Model T's, cup holders don't come standard. Well, he's not wrong. Finally. Hey folks, Tom Goodwin here, the assistant curator at the Owl's Head Transportation Museum. Today, we're putting history behind us and a Model T in front of me. So let's go to the shop. What we're going to use is a 1915 Model T Ford touring car. So the first thing we're going to do is check to see if there's any gas in it. I'll let you do the checking. We need to remove the front seat, believe it or not. So you'll need to pull that cushion out. Oh boy. That brass cap. Oh, there it is. There it is. You'll find a dipstick over here. Oh, see, now that's fancy. It is fancy. Now what do you do? Drop it down in the tank. Hang on to it. Don't yep. lose it. Yep. Put your finger down near the top of the tank so you'll know that's the full mark. And see how much fuel you actually have in the gas tank? OK. I see it's about there. Yeah, almost half a tank. So on this particular car, there's an oil sight gauge. Yep, yep, that brass gizmo right there. Okay. And you can see the oil level right in it. And the oil also lubricates the transmission as well as the engine. Even though the oil level looked fine, you'll need to know where to add oil. You'll find that underneath the hood at the front of the engine. Oh, this little thing? That one right there. So you would take that off and add oil right there. Okay. And the last essential check that we're going to do is to make sure that the radiator has a proper amount of coolant in it. OK. You want to level about that high. Take a look inside and see what you think. I don't see anything, Warren. If you jiggle the radiator, you'll probably see it. Jig jiggle. Jiggle. Jiggle the radiator. OK. Yep, I see it. Good jiggling. Thank you. About the only other thing, it's a good idea to check the air pressure in the tires. They hold a lot more air than a modern tire, 60 pounds. And if you don't have the proper pressure, it could damage the tires, and they're not cheap. OK, so you, you check the gas, you check the oil levels, you check the radiator, you check your tires, and then you're ready to put the key in? Well, not quite, but close. There is also this pre-running sequence of events that we're going to go through so you don't actually more. hurt yourself. More, OK, so there's more. Oh, god. Well, that's all we have time for today. Not because I don't have more to learn, but because Warren left. Nobody knows why. You know, in a way, you do have to pedal it. Are we going to get a ticket because we're not wearing seatbelts? Look at that. Look at it. Because we can't wear seatbelts. It's called a meme. Warren, there's no seatbelts in a Model T. Anyway, it turns out there's more to the Model T than meets the eye. These things had oil, gas, and coolant just like modern gas-powered cars. Now, Henry Ford really didn't have Mother Nature in mind at the time, and so these things would leak oil, coolant, and burn through fuel at a quick pace. You could be running low on any one of these components if you didn't regularly keep an eye on them. I also learned that Warren thought meme was pronounced Mimi, and that he doesn't find me very amusing. So join me next time when I try to make it up to him by talking about the Model T to somebody else. Until then, keep your tea regular. Fancy dipstick here. That tells you how much <laughs> gas you have in it. Dipstick.